You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. September 29th. It's not difficult. Deuteronomy 30, verse 11. This command that I give you today is certainly not too difficult or beyond your reach. The Christian life is not difficult. The same Christ who lived a perfect, obedient, and sinless life stands prepared to live it again through you. Galatians 2, verse 20. God's will is not hard to discern. He has given us the scriptures, which reveal his will, and he has placed his Holy Spirit within us to guide us to his perfect will in every situation. John 16, verse 13. Our greatest challenge will be to wholly commit our lives to follow God's will obediently as he reveals it. Moses gathered the Israelites around Mount Ebal and Mount Gerizim before they were to enter the promised land. There, God described what they had to do in order to obey him. God gave detailed instructions, so there was no mistaking what was expected of them. Then God asked them to make a choice. If they chose to disobey his commands, they would face his wrath. If they chose to obey, they would receive his blessing. God's word comes to you in the same way. It is not too complex to understand. You don't have to struggle to discern God's will about adultery or forgiveness or honesty. God's word is perfectly clear. The question is, how will you respond? Nowhere in Scripture did God excuse disobedience because his instructions were too vague or complex. Condemnation came because they knew exactly what God wanted them to do, yet they chose not to do it. God, through his Holy Spirit, will always give you sufficient revelation and strength to take the next step with him. If you are uncertain about what God is asking of you, make sure that you are obeying all that you do know, and through your obedience, God's next instruction will become clear. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, Music by Mark Brown.